Hello everyone, welcome to your Soul Sunday Angel Message, where the angels bring us a deeper message for our soul, for enlightenment, for healing. So let's get right into this and see what the angels have to say, what they want you to know. And I'm feeling that they want to talk to you about your prayers. Okay, so let's see. What about these prayers, angels? All right, first message out. You are loved. Okay, you are very loved. Every single prayer that you put out to the universe is received and heard, okay? Let's see what we have next. Oh, and look at this. Send love. Okay, so you are loved. Send love. Make a wish. And believe in yourself. Okay. And on the bottom, look at this. We have think about it which I feel is quite synchronistic and significant to the message that I'm very next card on the top. Look at that. Love yourself. Okay. So when we pray, we are asking for something that we don't have, that we feel we need or that we want, right? So when we're putting a prayer out there, when we're asking, when we're trying to manifest, you know, however you look at it, it's coming from a place of I don't have, right? So what I'm getting from the angels is when we pray, we, we're basically saying, hey, I need help. And as we are on the journey, we are physically incarnated they they cannot interfere with our free will. Um, you know, there's some things that they can't make happen, all right? But are asking for their assistance and opening ourselves up to the reception of that, then they can come in and and help you out, override that, you know, free will choice when you are asking for that. But if you're just like, I need more money, and, and that's, you know, all that's in the prayer, and this is just an example, you're not really inviting them in to help you. They want to help you on your journey. They don't want to just, um, you know, put things like, boom, here you go, boom, here you go, boom, here you go, because we don't learn from that. We don't grow from that. We don't evolve from that. But their guidance and them walking with us, keeping us strong, giving us those magical signs and synchronicities that keep our hope and faith and optimism alive, giving us that divine guidance and understanding we need to push through, to overcome, to reach for this, to do that. That's how they can really assist you. Now, it's not to say that they can't work miracles because they absolutely can. But them walking with you and assisting you, I don't, I, oh, I'm just, I hope I'm articulating this properly because the way I see it is, um, okay, here's a really good example. If you were trying to teach a child how to ride a bike, you can't ride the bike for them, right? They've got to learn. You can give them some training wheels and then, you know, take off one of the training wheels and then get them onto the two wheels eventually, right? It, it's like they've, they've just got to keep trying. They've got to keep trying. They've got to keep trying. And as they're trying, you're walking with them and you're saying to them, you can do this, you know, um, balance yourself, just encouraging. That's how you need to see the angels because anything that you are asking for from their perspective, you can make happen. You can achieve just like, you know, a parent knows their child will learn to ride that bike if they just keep trying and they have the proper guidance to do so. All right. So that's what the angels are saying. There is nothing that you cannot have. There is nothing that you cannot be. 
However, you've got to really believe in that for yourself. The angels can only make the wish come true that we believe can be true for ourselves. They know the path to everything, to everything. And so when you're putting it out there, I want this or I need this. I am open to receive your guidance. I am open to receive your help. They will come in and they will walk with you. And you might not realize it, but they'll download thoughts, pockets of information that will help you. And the truth is, every miracle that comes into your life, it's because you opened up to receive that. You did that. They just help. They just guide. They just give us direction. Okay. And when we're really low and we're broken and we're sad and we call upon them, they can come in and help heal our heart and make us feel loved and remind us of who and what we are. The angels are your people, are your best friends, are the ones who love you unconditionally, who will never, ever, ever lead you astray. Okay? You are loved. You need to love yourself. Okay, they send love to you. You're loved. I send you love. Please love yourself as I do. Please see yourself as I do. And that is, you are capable of anything. So let's just say you, you need more financial abundance in your life. Again, just an example. And you're putting it out to the universe. I, I need more financial abundance. I need to pay this, this, and this. I need enough money for food or my rent whatever the case may be, you say, hey, I need more abundance. And they're saying, okay, believe that you yourself can align to this abundance. And as you believe in yourself, we're going to guide you down the best path to align you to that abundance. All right, so let's pull some more cards. It's you know, um, I actually, I just, I have to share this. I actually have this card out and I just um, have it sitting here next to where I do cards and my computer on the other side here because Archangel Michael has really, really been working with me a lot lately. And, you know, you can call upon this Archangel. You can call upon Archangel Raphael, Metatron, Gabriel, Ariel, Zadkill, Shamuel, you know, all 15 of them, or your, your angels, your guardian angels. You can call upon any of them and say, in this moment, I am afraid. I do not trust. I do not believe right now. Please come sit with me. Let me sit in your light to remind me so that I can remember and you will feel that presence, okay? And that presence for me is enough for me to release and trust. If you noticed, I haven't recorded for a week and for the past nine months, I've been going through um, a medical issue and it's just, it's been really heavy on me and I really got wrapped up in the fear-based energy of I'm never gonna heal, I'm never gonna get over this, I'm not gonna move past this, and so therefore I'm not healing, right? And I called upon Archangel Michael and he came in and I realized, okay, I've gotta release, I've gotta release all these fears because it's preventing my full healing. And so I've been working a lot with him to help me with that, to release and surrender once I put it out there and relax into trust, knowing, knowing that the angels will lead me down the best path for me, for what I need at this time. But I've got to switch my thoughts up, okay? And I wasn't even going to bring this up, but it just, it feels like it ties so deeply into this message that they're bringing through right now where call upon us and once you feel our presence around you let that be all you need to surrender and trust that what you need what you want what you what you're asking for you will align to and your angels will be sure to see that happen for you but you've got to believe you've got to believe in your power you've got to love yourself and know that, you know, everything that
that comes towards you isn't always favorable, isn't always wanted, but those things are part of the journey to get you to where you want to be. And sometimes we've got to grow and learn and expand. And sometimes we've got to come into new information. But there is nothing that you desire in your heart. As you know, as long as it doesn't interfere with anybody else's free will choice, there is nothing that you cannot have. Experience be. The angels will lead the way. They will always show you. But once we ask, it's not happening immediately, right? And it's easy to fall back into those fear-based energies of, okay, this isn't here. And the angels really want to help you relax your energy, come into a place of trust, of reception, and know that you are divinely loved. And when you're just going through a lot, it's hard to feel that. It's hard to believe that, right? And I was kind of myself really veering off my path, really allowing fear-based thoughts to overtake. And it, Archangel Michael came in strong and it was like, what are you doing? And just made it so abundantly clear to me. And from there, I'm like, okay, and things are now really starting to go the way I need them to. So believe, ask for them so you can feel their presence and know in that presence, I can achieve anything. I can make anything happen for myself. Purple, third eye, clairvoyance. See, when you sometimes when you're daydreaming about what you want or the future, you're not daydreaming at all. It's the angels downloading pockets of information of what is possible for you, the potential for you. Um, do some meditation to really open and activate your third eye. And you know, I've been I created a meditation for myself with Archangel Michael and Archangel Raphael. And I definitely want to create a video of it for all of you guys because it has helped so much relax my energy. I cannot even tell you. And um, here, yeah, it's time to relax your energy and allow your chakras to open, especially that third eye, because you'll see your path. You'll know everything's going to be okay. Kitchen creation, see, and that goes with the wish what you need all right if you um, had a fully stocked kitchen and you wanted to go in there and make a cake you would grab all necessary ingredients to prepare the cake and bake it right you can't make the cake with just half the ingredients it won't turn out proper and so sometimes when we're asking for something or we're trying to manifest something we're you know on the hunts, we are picking up all the different ingredients we need to bring forth the full manifestation. It's truly a journey. Astral travel, vital force, information, dream time, soul travel. Okay, so uh, before falling asleep, really, you know, relax your body, call upon your angels and say, please walk with me and talk to me in my dreams while I sleep. Please help me understand. Please help me see my path, okay? And they'll come through very, very strong. Um, and also, they're already trying to talk to you on the astral. Look, look at that. Here they are. Support and guidance. See, I am with you. I love you. I want to help you. You are never alone. You know, um, it's kind of like charades where, you know, people act out in a certain way so you can guess, um, you know, what they are, right? The angels, they can give you so many clues, so much information, but it, it's you that is on this journey. And there's certain things that you need to experience. There's certain things you need to come into understanding, right? And they just, they want to help you. They're saying, I am here with you. In fact, I'm going to put this card up right here. Because we have Archangel Michael. We have all the angels coming through. And a strong message of, you are never alone. You are truly loved. Make a wish and believe in yourself. Put it out there and then say, 
I surrender, I accept where I am, and I surrender. What would it take? I am open to receive angels, and then just watch the energy changing for you. Look it on the bottom, healing right there. Love it. All right, what else, angels? Okay, yeah, see, the mind is astir and busy with a big focus of, I don't have this, I'm, I'm afraid. Any um, sort of, you know, where you start getting worried overthinking, feeling really anxious, that's fear-based energies, okay? And here's your guardian angel coming in saying, hey, when you're getting overwhelmed, when you're getting overstimulated, getting anxious, worried, call upon me. I will help you retreat from that energy. I will help you relax. And look at that, the emotions. Sometimes they do feel like they can get the better of us, right? When when we're really confused, when we don't understand. And when you feel that way, tell yourself, I am loved by the angels. I am loved by the angels. I am unconditionally loved. I am unconditionally supported. And look at look who has come through once again. Mr. Archangel Michael, he really wants to help you as he's been helping me. And look at this guardian angel with sweetness that comes in under believe in yourself. There is nothing that you cannot have. There is nothing that you cannot experience. And the thing is, is sometimes what we're asking for the angels see something better, okay? The angels see all the things that we're not aware of. They know the best route to what you're asking for, even if from your perspective, it's like, well, that doesn't seem like the way. The angels know, and they'll give you signs, synchronicities, intuitive promptings to take action or to do something or to research something, okay? And that's a message that Archangel Michael gave to me. And from there, um, and I'd researched before, but it was just different with him working with me. And I found so much information that I, I needed, okay? And so it came to me because I was open to receive the path. And that's just it. He will help you. He will bring you the truth. He will bring you enlightenment. And also this big strong message of love yourself. Believe in yourself. You are powerful. You are able. You are capable. It's just when we ask, we don't let it go. We hold on to it and, and hopes, okay, well, I'm going to hold on to this and, and you know, keep reminding the angels every day, I need this, I need this. Um, when you just, you got to put it out once and then totally surrender your energy and your expectation. And you will have so many epiphanies and just um, things that seem like brilliant idea out of nowhere. Um, a download of great understanding or, oh my gosh, I know what I need to do or I know what I've been overlooking. They are such allies. I cannot tell you. They're saying, let me help you. Because when we hold on to it, they, they can't help us. They're saying, let us help you. Because some of you feel like your prayers are never answered. Nothing ever happens. You hear all this positive information, but it doesn't seem like it, it's ever for you. And, and you can read the comments on videos and you see so many people saying, oh, spot on for me. Yes, this happened. And you're like, well, it, is none of these readings for me? You know, why, why am I even drawn into them? Angels, I don't understand. Why can't things happen for me? And this is them answering, really trying to help you, saying we are with you. Let it go. Let it go and trust. 
ask for the sign, you know, and be earnest in it. Believe it from the depth of your soul and you will fill them. Okay, you will fill them. Five of emotion, yeah. Forgiveness is an important part of healing. Forgive yourself and those around you for any mistakes of the past so that everyone can move forward. Grieving is a normal part of life. Ask your angels or those you love to help you move through this process quickly so that you can get back on the path of joy. See, they don't want you to feel left out, overlooked, not important. Okay, they want to help you relax your energy and come back to a place of trust. Five of action, yeah. So sadness, I feel defeated. Your angels want you to know that your current challenge pushes you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those that bring drama into your life. Okay, so they also something that angels do is help us see our own negative patterns of behavior, our own negativity that stands in our way, and also the negativity of relationships that are constantly around us and how that's truly impacting us. Ten of thought, and this is about worrying. A situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions or codependency issues. So they see, it's like no matter what's going on, when you put your prayer, when you put your wish out there, you've got to believe that there something is going to come in, something is going to change, okay? And you've got to just really surrender, and so much will come to you, I promise. Yes, because look at this, Ace of Abundance. This cherub brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to sign. So this here, this Ace of Abundance, would be the Ace of Pentacles. And this is the manifestation of whatever it is that you are asking for, okay? And the angels want you to realize that you, you are truly the one that brings these miracles into your life by opening your energy and they guide you and they help you heal and they help you understand and again you know sometimes when you feel like you're just kind of lost in thought or daydreaming about something to come that is them giving you glimpses of the potential of the timeline you're on of, of what could be and they want to really talk with you and walk with you on the astral and show you ways to think about yourself your life and your situation from a completely different point of view and perspective and bring you into a place of self-love that you've never touched on before it's a, a love of a, just like total acceptance and there aren't any words I could use to properly articulate that depth that they're making me feel. It's it's a love that no other person can activate it or inspire it, it within you. It's a love you find within yourself for yourself. And once you're there, when you truly love and honor yourself, there are just things that you will not tolerate, that you will not accept, and that you would not do. And it, it runs deep. It, it's such a respect and recognition of your divinity. And they, your angels 
want to help you tap into that because in that that space Again, it's like the, the kaleidoscope changes, you know, the, the twist in the kaleidoscope and a whole new picture is presented before you. So you got Archangel Michael coming through twice saying, I am here, I am with you. And look at that. He came out on this Ten of Thought, which is really fearing that what you're asking for, what you need is just not going to happen for you okay and he wants to help you break through that mental barricade barrier as well as you know um where is it we saw it. the emotions as well the emotions or the thoughts that hold us back that keep us feeling small that keep us in a place of disbelief that prevent us from hearing or following the guidance from the angels he wants to help break you through all of that. And I'm telling you, he's been working very strongly with me these past couple of weeks. And I cannot even put into words how many times I've broken down in tears because of the revelations that I've been feeling. The unconditional love. Like, I just, oh, I'm, I'm getting teary now. Let's just say when I finally just surrendered. And was like, I don't understand. I don't got this, angels. I don't. I need help. I cannot tell you how many special and beautiful synchronicities that have unfolded these past two weeks. And Archangel Michael wants to be there for you in the same exact way. Whatever it is that you need wherever you're hurting, wherever you're feeling small, invisible, I don't matter, I don't count, I need healing, I need money, I need love, whatever. He will help you break through the energetic barrier that holds you down and holds you back. Things aren't happening in your life out of a lack of deserving or not being unconditionally loved by the all. It's an energetic barrier that we create for ourselves out of fear-based energy and a lack of trust and feeling alone and unloved and that's what the angels are for in those dark places to remind us of the light within ourselves because it's that light that changes everything your inner light is the light at the end of the tunnel you are so so powerful Archangel Michael wants to bring you back into that knowing because then you're confident, then you're empowered and there's no stopping you. So you got Archangel Michael coming in really strong. You got your whole angelic team coming in really strong. All right, and you've got your guardian angel coming in. All right, all these angels surround you. And, you know, you've got to open the door to let them in and truly believe. And it's a journey. It's a process. Because what's missing in our life is about energy about vibration and the angels assist in helping us adjust and change our frequency to align to that which we seek it's a beautiful partnership it truly is and you know I've been doing cards forever and um the connection and I've worked with the Archangels but it's just different now ever since I started my angel channel it's it's just different I'm changing guys and it's because of the angels and so I just I hope that you can hear me and, and feel me in your soul because in all of my darkest days in darkest situations when the people that were supposed to be there for me were not the angels never failed me. 
never. All right, so I will leave it there. I'm getting emotional. I just, I don't ever want anybody to be hurting, to be in pain or forsake the angels. I know it gets hard and sometimes it seems like our prayers aren't heard, but they are. All right, so those are your messages. I am sending you so much love and light. Take care.